properly because sad to say, but English, I think we are language. Uh, I think many children haven't done uh, thing. Now we have English literature tomorrow. Now please, please, please everybody do the literature online. It's a very easy paper. You just have to mark, I mean, you know, tick the MCQs. So please do it properly. Have you understood? Please do it online. Okay, now children, now that we have been eating, now you know class 6 has about, I think, 1, 2. By Wednesday you finish, but I have already told you, since you had a long break, that you should do a new chapter. Uh, it is on page 48, I had already told many children, and also that you have to find out the meanings of the words. There is only, I think, like I said, one person who had sent me. I don't know why you don't bother to send me, you're not doing your work, even in such hard times we're taking classes for you so that you don't, you know, you are up with the uh, lessons but things. Now we are going to do a new chapter called Going Solo. It is a story from Roald Dahl's life. I would like to tell you a bit about Roald Dahl. He was a British writer and he was a fighter pilot also. That is why this lesson that we are going to do is something about pilots, something to do about flying. He was highly, I mean he is really good. I don't know whether any of you have read his books, but he was really good. And he worked with the Royal Air Force. That's why this lesson is about something about flying. And the Second World War and uh, he became a wing commander towards the end of his flying career. And you know, like he used to write stories about, you know, real things that, um, real incidents, real people he had met. Not just made up stories, but he had, uh, you know, something that would happen in his life, some interesting people he had met, anything like that he used to make. Like some of his famous uh, stories were James and the Giant Peach. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, that's a very famous movie. Fantastic uh, Mr. Fox, the BFG, and of course Matilda. Now I think most of you must have seen Matilda. It's a wonderful story and a very interesting movie. Now to get back to the lesson, we are talking about, it's a story about his life for me. Now, before we uh, start the lesson, there is over there on page 48, start here. Which of the following activities would you want to be alone? Like, you know, uh, or activities or something like many activities you do with your friends and all, or with your family. Which of these would you prefer to do with someone else? Like, there are some you like to do alone, and there are some you like to do with someone else. Like. Would you like to travel to a new city or country alone, or with your family, or with your friends, or hiking a mountain? Now many people, recently even some of our teachers went hiking in one of these holidays, but they went with a group. I think usually, you know, when you go hiking, you would like to go with your friends, you would like to go alone. Uh, doing a household task like washing dishes, I, I don't think many of you would like this, but especially in the COVID times, I think with no help, you'll have to help in washing the dishes. Performing a song, dance is good for a group of strangers. Would you like to perform a dance? I think you would like it. It's nothing, I think, uh, in front of strangers. Or uh, would you like to try out something new like cooking or driving? And also another thing is volunteering for uh, uh, like for community service. Like community service, of course, since you are smaller children, you could help the community by cleaning the garbage around you. You know, that is very, very important. Not throwing and see that and go around telling people or giving them some bins or plastic, not plastic, rather, you know, old tins and all. You can, like, at times we used to do that when school uh, was there, we used to go and clean the road which is very, very important. Making a scientific model for a new invention. Now, you know, making something very scientific which will help in your household problems, maybe a new type of uh, uh, cleaning the uh, 
house, some things like that. So you just have to read and you can write about it, which I'll tell you later, let your exams finish and then we can do this. Have you understood? Now, let us read a story from, now everybody see, you know, most of the lessons that we are doing is like an autobiography. Writing yourself. Auto means writing about yourself, your whatever happened to you and, and uh, to learn about what he loved doing by himself. Now we are going to read about what Goalda liked to do himself alone. So what was that thing that he could do alone? Now, at the aerodrome, now I don't know whether many of you have uh, gone by air or not, like you have this aerodrome where all the aeroplanes are kept actually. It is a small airport, it's not a big airport. And uh, many of you have flown those that you know that usually an aerodrome. Well, nowadays we don't say aerodrome, we say airport. We had three instructors and three planes. Now this aerodrome must have been very small because they only had three instructors. Now this aerodrome was not the type that's had a planes where you could get into it and go to Cafe Friday, but you have a big airport. And then there are many, many uh, aeroplanes which go all over the country and in fact some go all over the world but now because of this COVID restrictions everything has been stopped. But this aerodrome where he was, he had three instructors. Instructors are people who help you to fly. Now you can't just get into a car or a, uh, even in a, when you're learning how to uh, you know, ride a bicycle. It is your parents or your father or your brother who helps you so that you don't lose your balance. The first thing in a uh, cycle is how to balance properly. And uh, they had three planes only. So these were mainly to help to fly. They had three instructors who would help you. Like we are teachers, we help you in the class how to go about it. Same thing in this uh, aerodrome which was very small, they had three aeroplanes, not aeroplanes actually, these are like uh, small uh, which go. The instructors were civil airline pilots. Now the instructors who used to help them to fly, they were airline pilots. Now if you have been uh, by air, in an aeroplane, you will see like the car, a driver drives the car. So same way, uh, what do you call this? And a uh, pilot, you know, flies the plane. Now you can't, the driver can't go and say, oh, I'm going to fly the plane. No, it is a pilot who flies the plane. And they are taken by the RAF. Now what does RAF stand for? Royal Air Force from a small domestic company. Domestic means home. International means abroad, outside. Called Wilson Airways. Now, these people, these instructors were taken from the Royal Air Force. They were uh, basically civil uh, pilots who used to go. The instructors were from the Royal Air Force and it was not a very big company. It was a very small home company called Wilson Airways. Like you have Air India, you have a Spice Jet, you have Indigo. So here this uh, company's name was Wilson Airways. The planets, plane sorry, were Tiger Moths. Now, the name of the plane was Tiger Moth, even I have not. You know what a tiger is? A tiger is a very uh, dangerous animal, very quiet, and moths are, you know those, you know not butterflies, but you have these moths. They are bigger than butterflies and they are, so I think it was given like, they were like tiger moths, the name of the place, you know, tiger moths. Now, the tiger moth is or was a thing of great beauty, it was beautiful. I mean, a person who loves aeroplanes, of course, you and me won't know much about it. But a person who knew about it, they said it was very beautiful. Everyone who has ever flown a tiger moth has fallen in love with it. 
I understood like some people love to drive jeeps, some people bikes, they find that this bike is very really good or that scooter is very good. You know, whoever does like they have their own um, likings. And they said that anybody who has flown a tiger moth has fallen in love with it, like really liked it. It is a totally efficient, efficient, something which performs well and does not waste money or energy. It is very, very good and very acrobatic. Now, acrobatic, if you have been to a circus, you will realize, you know, when they turn like this acrobats, they fly from one end to the other. That is acrobatic. Acrobatic means able to perform complex movements, you know. It must be going down and up and all those like with all sorts of acrobatic tricks. Which of course, if you go on an ordinary plane, they cannot do that. So these tiger moths are made specifically for this type of performance. Little plane, it's not a big plane, you can see in the picture over here, it's a little plane. And it is powered by a gypsy engine. And as my instructor told me, a gypsy engine has never known to fail in midair. So actually, we are talking about aeroplanes. And I'm going to go very slowly. Please read this uh, uh, chapter. And I've already told you in class, find out the meanings. Find out the meanings, which is very important. Because you don't understand. Well, some of you are not even bothered to open your books, you know, children. Last year you had a good time. Now this year, please be a little serious and send your uh, test and all. It's not easy to come from class 3 to 5 actually. Because last year to 6 rather from 4 to 6, it's, it's very difficult. So please children, be a little serious and read your lessons. Because suppose, like, hopefully, if the school opens any time,